Hey, I'm Mark Manley with Weeks Auction Group, and this is Auction Talk, where we help you make dollars and cents out of the auction process. <music> On today's episode of Auction Talk, I want to address one of the most frequently asked questions that we have, and that's why do I have to put in a credit card to register for an auction? Well, first of all, when you set up an account with Weeks Auction Group, you're going to be required to put in a credit card. There's a twofold reason for that. One is that it's part of our proprietary ID verification system. It matches your name, address, all your personal information against your credit card to make sure you set who you are who you say you are. The second reason is to ensure that there's funds available in the event that you default on a purchase. When you register for an auction, there is a $1,000 verification against your credit card when you're registering for a real estate auction. When you register for a personal property auction, there's a $500 verification against your credit card for a personal property auction. These are verifications only. No money is ever taken off your credit card. No money is ever transferred to our company. It's the exact same thing that happens when you go to a filling station, you slide your card in the slot, and then you pull it out. Your card has been verified to make sure it's a valid card before you start pumping the gas. We verify it's a valid card before you start bidding on an auction. Once again, no money ever comes to us, no transfer is ever made. Now at the conclusion of the auction, a lot of times people assume that we automatically charge their card for the amount of either the earnest money on a real estate auction or the amount of their purchases on a personal property auction. First and foremost, we never take credit card funds for a real estate auction. We just don't do that. Credit card, the earnest money that is paid to us at the conclusion of a real estate auction must come to us in the form of certified funds or wire transfer. Now, at the conclusion of a personal property auction, you have a choice. We can charge your card, but we only do that when you give us permission. You have to physically call our office or we call you and you say, charge my card. Or when you receive an invoice, there's a payment link in that invoice that you can pay it yourself. Once again, we never charge your card for anything other than, than when you want it charged on a personal property auction. So just to cover this one more time, when you register for an auction, there's going to be a verification against your card. Based on the type of card that you have, you could receive a notification that there's been a large purchase made. $500, potentially $1,000. That is only a verification. No money comes against your card, and that hold on your card will be released depending on the amount of time that your credit card company requires. I hope this clears up some of the questions that you may have concerning using a credit card to register for an auction. Talk to you soon. Thanks. If you enjoyed today's episode and would like to know more about this topic, please post your questions or comments below, or if you prefer, drop me an email to mark at bidweeks.com. To make sure you get notified about future episodes, please click the red subscribe button below. And if you haven't already done so, head over to Facebook and like our Weeks Auction Group page. For the most up-to-date information about buying or selling at auction, head over to our website at weeksauctiongroup.com. I'm Mark Manley, and I look forward to seeing you back here on Auction Talk, where we'll help you make dollars and cents out of the auction process. Oh.